Hey everyone, welcome to my playthrough of Suikoden 4. You might be wondering why I'm starting off with the fourth game, because Suikoden is my favourite game series ever made. I'm starting with 4 because it's my least favourite of all of them. Uh, I don't really like it that much, and I've never finished it, which is why I'm doing this. This playthrough is more for my benefit than anyone else's. It'll give me a reason to actually finish the game, take in the story. Don't start that again taking the story all that good stuff and maybe I'll find some sort of appreciation for it but I think the big problems I have with this game uh, are too big for me to look past if that makes any sense but we're gonna go into it new game I'm terrible at introductions so let's not fuck about uh, so this guy's name I don't remember what his name is so we're gonna have to call him. Uh, we're gonna call him. We'll call him Stumpo, because that's close. It's something like that, isn't it? Right, Stumpo. All oh, that looks good. They're here. Are you ready? 
ready? Don't worry, it'll be all right. You'll see. I'm gonna take command. Is everyone ready? Let's go! What a dweeb. The big problem with PS2 RPGs is that they thought that voice acting was the biggest thing ever. Everything has to have voice acting. I didn't agree. I think most voice acting for these sort of games kind of ruined it, especially uh, when it's English dub. But anyway, enough about that. We're starting immediately with a, the different type of battle in this game, because this is a, a normal turn-based RPG usually, but there's also this sort of weird RTS style... I'll give it a try. I, you don't have to explain it. Kind of RTS style battle where it's you versus a, a separate army. Commence naval battle, let's go. Wait. I mean, this doesn't matter. Does it really? But we might as well go along with it. Right. Commence naval battle. So if he's moved there, we're going to move to like there and fire our cannons at him. Got him. we lost. The end. Hope you enjoyed that game. We're in trouble. They're starting to board us. Here's the actual battle system. I don't need you to explain it to me. The few things you probably need to know is rune is how you use magic. You attach runes to your characters and you're able to use different elemental magics or buff your characters or whatever. There's also the combo thing where if you have a specific two people in your party, you can use a combo between them. These two, Stumpo and Snow, have uh, the friendship attack. We'll go and hit that lady. Because that's how we roll. Let's go. Now she's going to use her rune to do something to him. Heal his HP. That didn't go down at all. Never mind. Just keep killing the lady. None of this really matters. This is just the tutorial. Although they're not doing much damage, are they? Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. Every time I decide to record, it seems like some jackass in a truck decides he wants to have a visit of my house. I don't, I don't want anything, alright? People in trucks, stop it. I'm trying to record a playthrough of a game I don't like. I don't need you scumbags coming down here interrupting me. Right, what was I doing? Oh yeah, beating the shit out of this woman. With my swords. Let's go. She'll die at some point. Or that's it, apparently. Easily we boarded you, Captain Snow. Easy now. Had this been a real battle, I could have approached you from behind. Ah, come on now. And... Slash like that. For a captain, you lack a sense of awareness. Watch yourself. You hear me? Yes, 
sir. I'll be more careful, sir. Okay, so there. Let's do it. So this is the other type of battle system in this game. So there's three different types. There's the turn-based, there's the sort of weird RTS one, and then there's dueling. <clears throat> so you have to kind of take verbal clues from your opponent for these duels to uh, kind of decide what they're going to do next, because it's like rock, paper, scissors, basically. So <clears throat> I can't remember really what they are. If they do special, I know if you use guard. Full power. You dodge it and then you attack back. I, I remember that much. To get beaten to a pulp. So that to me sounds like you might do special again. Once again, that sounds like a special. Because he's like, I'm going to beat the shit out of you. Okay. Pay close attention to my swordsmanship. <clears throat> so this one... He's probably going to attack. Now with attack, you can take as little damage as possible by guarding. I think special... You attack instead. And now I think he's gonna guard, maybe? Yeah. If you attack a guarding opponent, he can't attack you back. And he's gonna do special again, so we'll guard. See, it's pretty easy. Uh, special. That first one's supposed to be kind of easy, anyway. <clears throat> Duels later on in the game will get a little more um, subtle with its clues. That one was pretty straightforward. But that's pretty much it for all the battles, all the battle types. They're pretty interesting. Although the, uh, the RTS one gets a bit boring at some points. <coughs> Brilliant. And Snow's an arsehole. That's all you need to know. Alright, now we get to move around. This is uh, this is Stumpo, the main character. Probably, probably uh, my least favourite main character. I don't know, there's, there's a couple of bad ones. Um, I won't complain too much. I'll just complain when the when the parts that I don't like come up. I'll try and keep the negativity low for this playthrough. Because no one wants to hear that shit. Let's talk to our friends. Okay, so he's the fat one. Kenneth, he's the cool one. So, the first problem I have with this game is it's quite slow. A lot slower than the other Sukoden games. Uh, especially the first two, which kind of has a almost perfect RPG um, uh, pacing to it. 
This one has kind of a weird one where it's really, really slow for most of the game. Which I didn't really like. Anyway. Oh, who do I talk to now? Do I just talk to Kenneth again? No. I'm not sure if I should read this out or not. I'm sort of new to all this playing through a RPG thing. I just find it kind of annoying having to read stuff out <coughs> continuously. There she is. The elf. See, that's not realistic. They would have all shat on her or something. I know seagulls. Waster space seagulls. Oh no, they've, they've just shat out Suko and four. It's pretty obvious that the people that made this game were quite impressed by <clears throat> by the graphics they had created for it, which is why there's so many cutscenes of just kind of long, sweeping <laughs> camera pans and stuff, showing off all the all the stuff they created. All the look at the water, perfect water graphics. But anyway, we're actually starting the game. We could go into town. Uh, actually, no, we can't. We've got to go immediately to the briefing room, I think. See what's up. Get graduated, become a knight, <clears throat> and then the game can properly start. This is probably my least favourite opening to, to a Sukoden game. Just because it's it's quite slow. All of you here today will officially be assigned to Gaian's one and only band of knights. In other words, your long days of training are now over. For now, I will talk of my experiences. It was seven years ago, on the seas of our enemy nation, Kuluk. Four of our night ships were decimated by just one Kuluk vessel. It was a bitter battle. Many of my men paid the ultimate price. Most of you probably know this much. But no one wants to talk about what happened next. Why? Because it reminds us of the humiliation we suffered at the hands of a certain man. The commander of that enemy fleet was a man named Troy. 
Back then, Troy was not much older than those of you here right now. But... Even Gaian's veteran knights were unable to inflict a single scratch on that young man. You must all strive to become knights even greater than Troy. Do you understand? Such a humiliating experience must not be repeated. I have trained you with this intention in mind. I trust that you will all live up to my expectations. The fate of Gaian is in your hands. That is all. Congratulations, graduates! Starting tomorrow, your duty will be patrolling the neighboring waters. In other words, guard duty. Do your best and do not let your guard down. Also, your official equipment is still in production. We will contact you when it is complete. Brilliant. <laughs> I almost know what's going on now. <clears throat> so, there was some guy called Troy, who was a bit of a dickhead, and humiliated the uh, army. And now, uh, we have to be super good and not be a dickhead. <clears throat> so that uh, the army doesn't look bad. Got it. Right, so at this point, I can't remember where to go. What up, guys? Okay. So... Where do we go? Oh, there's a lot of ships. Can we go into town now? We can. Look at these ships. Look at the graphics. This game does feel different uh, to a lot of Sukoden games. This one and the third one kind of had the same sort of 3D feel. <clears throat> and they went back to like the classic style for Sukoden 5, which I thought was a really good game. Um, but this one in 3 had a kind of weird identity, where it felt different to any other Sukoden game. But uh, at least 3 had a few uh, elements that it kept, that kept it uh, a good game. I'll get into it later then. Young Master Snow has arrived. We've been waiting for you. Here, please take this. Now, a representative of the Guyan Marines Academy graduates will perform the kindling ritual. Snow Vingerhut, first son of Vincent, Lord of the village of Rosaril. This year, I shall conduct the kindling. <laughs> Well, shall we go together? All you have to do is follow my lead. I hate snow. It's probably the dubbing. It's probably not that bad. being the center of attention. Would you like to join me? <laughs> you don't have to be so humble. It's okay. Come on. So Stumpo never talks, but he does make a lot of uh, duck faces. So there is that. Now at this point we have to uh, light everyone's candle. Come here, come here, sir. Give me a stick. I'm gonna leave this woman though because <clears throat> I've got to go and uh, have a look around. I think there's a chest over here that you can only get at this point in the in the game. There's nothing in it of interest, but 
It's there. Um, where is it? It's at the bottom of these stairs, I think. You can get into battles here as well, so it's a good place to uh, do a bit of grinding. See that chest down there? You can get that. We're also going to light this uh, this bandit on fire. Oh, maybe not. Lighter on fire. There you go. It's a good, good, good way to grind at the beginning of the game. Come here. What's in it? A mushroom. What does that do? One MP for each level, which is actually pretty good for the uh, magic system in this game. Anyway, that's all I want to do. I could grind here for a bit, but uh, it's not a particularly difficult game. Grinding probably won't be necessary. There'll be a lot of grinding to do when we uh, get our boat and hit the open waters. Anyway, let's go light this last person's stick and start the festival and actually get this game going. But you can tell it's quite slow, can't you? And there's a cutscene, like, every second. Uh, did I miss...? Hmm. I think... I keep missing one person with a stick. And it's always the same person. Let me just go and make sure I... Because a cutscene's supposed to happen at this point. Now... Where's this last person with a stick? Oh. Can't believe I missed this person. Is that it? That's gotta be it. I was gonna say that I usually miss the first person, not the middle person. of these magnificent new knights. Wow, it's so beautiful. I wish that days like this could just go on forever. Forgive me. A knight should not speak from his heart so freely. Please, forget everything that I just said. Well then, what do you want to do now? Do you feel like staying and taking a look around? Christ, he's going to jump off a bridge. That's what it sounds like. Bloody snow. Can't trust him. Right, um... Uh, at this point we can chat to people. I think we have to talk to all our mates before we can do anything. So uh, they don't have anything interesting to say, but we've got to talk to them. Yeah, he's, he's the fat one, he just cares about food, even though he's <coughs> actually quite skinny. Kenneth is the uh, the smart one. Okay, is that everyone? What happened to what's her name? Oh, there she is. Jewel. Brilliant. Let's talk to Snow's dad. Snow doesn't like his dad. Never mind. Let's uh, <coughs> go. Let's go do our first side quest. Why not? 
I don't think it's a side quest, it's actually part of the main game, but it's fine. We're only half, a, half an hour in. We haven't actually done anything yet, but it's fine. If we go down here... There's a cat man. I've got to talk to that cat man. Come here. Cheapoo. Good old Cheapoo. The really exciting thing about Suikoden games is there's 108 characters to get, or thereabout. There's sometimes a few more. But uh, when you when they have a face, they're, and they're just kind of walking around town, that's usually a person you can get. So l trying to find all of them is quite a, quite a fun task. And whenever you find a new one, you, you get quite excited. So obviously, because Chipu has a face, he's either a bad guy, like a, a main one of the main villains, or he's going to join us at some point, and we get to use a Catman who wears a cardigan. Anyway, so uh, that's the joy of these games, right there, trying to find all 108. So he's basically told us. I think I skipped too fast through what he was saying, but. Basically, he told us that one of these bandit people over here, one of these assholes, um, has kidnapped some kid, and we've decided to go and help. So, we're going to do that. Maybe get up a few levels while we're at it. Alright, level 2. Unfortunately, there's not much in battles that we get to do. It's literally just attack, attack. And the enemies don't do enough damage for us to care about our health or anything. Never mind. We're actually going to be fighting a semi-difficult enemy. Well, compared to these jokers over here. We're going to be fighting a pretty decent enemy coming up. But it's fine. We've got our friendship attack, which is going to do everything. Now, here he is. Bring it. We're going to save that girl. Right, let's just drop the friendship attack on the underling. Yeah, even the, the, the big bad pirate man does one damage. I do wish sometimes that the Suikoden games are quite a little a little more difficult. God damn it. Some of them are kind of easy. But never mind. There we go, he's dead. Right, so we're not going to be doing much damage with normal attacks, so let's combo the shit out of this kidnapper. Keep doing that for a bit. Simple. Come on, game. And we stole this stew. All right. So we have done everything.
let's quickly head back to the party. Now, uh, what do we do now? Hmm, maybe we don't go back to the party. I think we can just piss off to bed, can't we? Let's go and have a look. I don't think we get a reward for saving that girl. We just did that out of the kindness of our own hearts. Are you the girl that we saved? Yeah. No problem. We're good knights. We don't we don't ask for money off little girls. Right, let's re let's talk to this cat again, just in case. Brilliant. <clears throat> I mean I could have done with a bit of cash, but that's fine. It's fine. Let's save it. Get rid of that practice playthrough there. Yes, I'm going to sleep. That party is the worst party ever. Only 13 people turned up. Ridiculous. game can properly start. We're going to get our own boat, we're going to hit the open seas, find find new civilizations. I was going to go into the whole Star Trek spiel there, but it's fine. It's fine. I don't think we're going to find any blue people. Um, I've forgotten how to get out. So at this point, We get to choose our party. Yo. Oh, do I have to find snow? Ah. Son of a bitch, I've got to bring him everywhere. What a loser. Right, where is he? I think it makes you go through all this stuff. Gotta go find snow first, before you can progress. I don't even want him on my team. Waste of space. Uh, uh, good morning. Tell and the others said they were going to head over to the training hall. Yes, I've should already been there. there too? Yes, we should. Buddy, oh. I think I know which uh, characters I'm going to take with me, because you have to choose. You got to choose two of these uh, these four here to have in your first party. Right. Sure, let's do it. We're going to take, <clears throat> we're going to take um, Kenneth because he's a badass and he has, uh, he's already got a lightning rune attached to him so he gets to use lightning magic which does come in handy and we're going to take Jewel 
Cuz, uh, just cuz. I think she's got the water rune so she can heal people, which is always good. Just kill this guy. Oi. I've got to say, the main character does miss a lot. But it's fine, he's dead. I mean, I don't want to. Oh, okay, we, we've got to keep fighting them. <sighs> right, um... Attack, attack. Let's show off the lightning rune with Berserk Blow. I mean, it's a bit overkill to electrocute these guys. Poor fellas. <clears throat> but never mind. That is enough training, isn't it? I've decided. Uh, let's stop. I'm done. I'm done with them. Waste of time. Brilliant. <clears throat> so this brings me on to the, one of the main problems with the game, and that's that <clears throat> it's reduced the amount of characters you can have in a party from six to four. And that space down at the bottom is for a um, support type character who doesn't really do anything during battle. I don't think. Um, but in all other Sukoden games, you can have up to six characters on your party, which is um, really good when there's <laughs> 108 characters overall, uh, because you can really you can really build a, a, the party that you want out of all the characters that you like. Four seems a bit too limiting, especially when you're taking people along because uh, they have to be in your party for the for the storyline. And then you're, you'll end up having to... you can only choose two out of 108 people. Seems a little bit uh, silly. I don't know why they changed it either. Although this game would be Ten times easier with two extra characters in the in the in the, in the battle party. I don't think there's anything to do in town. We could go and buy stuff, but why would we do that? Let's immediately go patrolling. Defeat wild sea creatures three times, or deliver a document to Middleport. Um, I don't know. Which one will be easier? Uh, let's deliver a document. Why not? That's what they want us to do. Okay, so they've said that it's east of where we are. Where we are now, we've got to get on a boat and travel east. And here is the big, the big killer of this game. The, uh, the world map, basically, is... Uh, we don't have a map yet, do we? Now, I need to f remember how to change... There we go. There we go. Put it onto free camera mode. So, this is uh, how we explore the world of Sukoden 4. In a boat. Very Wind Waker-esque. Um... But the big problem is there's there's random encounters when you're in the boat. So uh, it does get a bit annoying, especially when you're trying to find new places. Uh, so let's go. I, w I was going to cut out some of this uh, exploration, but I might as well show you a bit of it. 
just because it's just so that you know how annoying this is because the big problem really with this isn't <laughs> necessarily that there's random encounters it's that the space between each island is so great that <clears throat> and the boat seems to move so slowly what's happened have i gone in the wrong direction oh no i think i got too close to the uh, to the island So yeah, the boot, the 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 boot, the boat moves so slowly that it takes so long to get from A to B. Most of the game will be played out in this uh, on the boat. There is a point in the game where you do get a character who uh, teleports you to places you've already been to, so you don't have to use the boat so much at that point. But. Um, it's still, it's still here. Right, let me just... Ah, here we go. Here's where we're going. And I've always hated Middleport because they put the city on the other side of the bloody island. As opposed to just going straight there. Which is a bit annoying. Okay, so I made it. And I'm not going to lie, that took almost 10 minutes to get from point A to point B and the funny thing is once we've done this all we have to do is talk to this guy once we've talked to this guy we have to go back to the first town Razril and the guy there is going to tell us to come back to Middleport and do something else so that's uh, that's 30 minutes right there so you can kind of see where I'm coming from when I say that I didn't really enjoy playing this game if it didn't have random battles, because the other problem with having random battles is all your characters are going to be too high of a level. It's so easy to grind out there because from point A to point B you're going to get into so many battles. As you can see, I wasn't trying to grind and all my characters are now level 6 even though I got Kenneth and Jewel at level 1. I think they were level 2 when we hit the water. So they've gone up 4 levels and I wasn't even trying to grind up levels. Um, it's funny, it's just little things like that, just don't have random battles outside and put more faith into your dungeons or put more into your dungeons or whatever. Okay, so we've got a thousand potch. We can have a quick look around because I think I'm going to end the video here so that I can make my way back to Razril by boat and you don't have to watch. Um, so, um, first we can have a look around here and I can show off a couple of people like Piccola right here. She's got a face, that means she's probably going to join us. Uh, another one is over here. Gunter. Now Gunter's quite interesting because there's always a character in the Suikoden games who does gambling just an easy way for you to make money or lose all your money um, I'll do a quick uh, I know I know so this is uh, one of the this is the main Suikoden dice game uh, let's say 400 on it all right so he's gonna have a go and he got a three because he got a double, which is two fives, and the one remaining dice is how many points you have, basically. So what I have to do is I have to get a double on two dice, and then the remaining dice has to be higher than a three. But I got a triple, so I won 1200 pots. I got triple my money back. So that's a, that's, a, that's a good start, isn't it? So that's pretty much that. You just make a lot of money. And there's going to be a point where you get to, pro not promote, recruit that guy uh, to join you. So it's all pretty interesting. 
And I think you get him to join you by winning a shit ton of money off him, and then he decides to join you. Uh, is there any other characters with faces here? I think the blacksmith does. Yeah, Adrienne. We won't do that yet. We'll do that in the next video. And if we go to the inn, I don't know why I'm showing you this. It's just quite entertaining for me to look for these people. Um, these two here. We've got Oscar. And Deborah. And they're a bit... They're a bit shitty. A couple of dickheads. Okay. Actually, yeah, let's stay. And I guess I'll see you in the next video where I'll be back at Razrail. Um, and then we'll come back to Middleport and do the second mission, I guess. Thanks for watching, everyone. See you next time for more Suikoden 4 action. Toodaloo!